Uh, my name is Carl Blake, and I own Rustic Rooster Farms. And uh, what I do is um, we raise a special breed of pig. Five years ago, Iowa farmer Carl Blake began a quest to breed the perfect pig. Well, but she comes in here, she makes a nest, and then she has her little ones. Those are purebred Swabian whole pigs. Blake is on a mission to reacquaint Americans with heritage pork. All the Europeans know that the best tasting pigs in the world are black. They're not pink. But every single pig we feed to people in the United States is pink. And pink pigs, Blake says, don't have the right flavor. I felt like today's pigs were too lean, too dry, too muscly, and uh, just didn't have much taste and flavor. They didn't taste like pork should taste. So Blake went back in time. And uh, we created a pig based upon an 1821 pig from Germany. That pig, the Swabian Hall, was developed for King Wilhelm I, but its stock has dwindled, and Blake couldn't persuade German farmers to sell him any of their swine. So he set out to rebreed the Swabian Hall, just like the king had. That little one there <coughs> is a purebred boar. So what I'm doing is I'm rebooting us back into where we need to be, where we have the perfect mating of meat and fat. He bred fatty Chinese Meishan pigs with a local dark flesh pig, the Osabao from Georgia. And I just thought, well, I don't know, these are really two ugly pigs. If we, you know, let's see what it tastes like. At the Lincoln Cafe in Mount Vernon, Iowa, Chef Matt Stegerwald serves La Quercia Prosciutto, made from meat from Blake's pigs. I think the flavor is real bright. Sometimes a lot of the heritage pigs, they get overly fat. It's like a sledgehammer of, of uh, richness, but I think Carl's pigs have a really nice balance and a bright flavor. You see that? You can see the fat throughout? That's exceptional good, prosciutto. Right? Prosciutto, Blake says, shows off the flavorful fat that has been bred out of most pigs. For decades, the American pork industry has tried to reduce the fat of pigs and promote its product as the other white meat. But Blake says we've gone too far. It's a terrible thing when you get a pork chop and you can't even grill it in its own fat because it's so dry that you burn it. Blake isn't the only one to re-embrace full flavor pork products. Pork, to me, is the other dark meat. In 2010, at a San Francisco culinary contest called Koshan 555, you got five chefs, five pigs, five winemakers in a competition. Chef Stephen Terrier of San Francisco's Perbaco restaurant was given one of Blake's pigs. Salami, pancettas. I got handed the Schwabian Hall pig from Iowa. And at that point, the only thing I could figure out was that it was of German origin. I had never worked with it because it's uh, such a rare breed. Chef Terrier and his staff went nose to tail with a menu that began with... We started out with a pig's ear terrine. And finished with... We made a cupcake that was filled with sanguinaccio. So we made a chocolate and blood pudding. And on top it had a lard buttercream. And it was delicious. And then we had bacon marshmallows. The Swabian Hall was declared the contest winner. That was the Super Bowl of pork. No, when we won it, I about fell out of my chair. There has since been a clamoring for Iowa Swabian Hall pigs. Blake says their meat is worth four times as much as supermarket pork. And he has moved most of his stock to an undisclosed farm deep in Iowa's Amish countryside. Oh yeah, there's a lot of pig thievery. Guys want the genetics of my pigs really bad. Here, cared for by Amish farmers, the pigs root and roam free. While the exact location of the farm is a secret, he wants people to think not of Germany when they taste his pork, but of his home state. This breed was created here. And to me, I'm proud of that fact. Proud of the fact that we have them in Iowa, and I can sell them to other states, and when they ask for a pig, they're not gonna ask for a Swabian Hall, they're gonna ask for an Iowa Swabian Hall. <laughs>